Welcome back. We are here on eToro looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, December 30th, 2020. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. And if you'd like to access to our signal service, our full technical analysis of all the commodities on eToro and also our live trades, live trades then you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. We'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we have basically dropped significantly lower. At this point, we are oversold in the US dollar index. We are trading at 91.04. If this level breaks, then we are going to go significantly lower. So we have nearly reached the very lows of September 2017. They are way back over here. So we'll most likely go and retest this area. So I do believe that we are going to go lower at this point. This inverted hammer here is a very bearish shine for this market. So we'll probably drop to that level and then rally up towards the 50 moving average again. So this means that we may see, for example, oil, gold, and the indices and so on um, increase. Maybe it's not always 100% correlation, but there is usually a negative correlation between the US dollar index and commodities and so on. So that's why you all should pay attention what basically happens to the US dollar index. So a fall further, that will only make the market even uh, more bullish. So keep that in mind. So we'll look at oil. So we have, we broke down today and then we rallied all the way up towards the, almost these previous highs here. So we found support around this area. I can write it up. It's around this area here. And that is basically close to the previous highs down, down here back in, in the end of August. So this is most likely how far this market will go at this point. That is also what I expected yesterday. Um, that is basically that we would turn around when we basically hit, we're basically hit or came close to this area. These technical indicators are more flat now. They are basically turning around. And that means that we just need to take out uh, 36.21 and then we're heading all the way to 37.5 and then to 50. And after that, we'll most likely have 50 as our very highs and then we'll have our very lows at around 35 or this area here, the 200 moving average. So roughly a range of 15, 14, 50 dollars. This is going to be the new range in, in oil. There is, there are a lot of, um, uh, well, arguments that can make, be made that there's no reason for us to go to 50, but we are going to enter a new bull market. We are in the next year going to have a new um, administration in the United States. We are going to have more stimulus. We are having a vaccine now, and that means that it's going to be end of COVID uh, sometime next year. And the world economy will basically go back to some kind of normal. And that also means that we'll use more oil, but that is not the case right now. It is almost pure speculation. And you could also make the argument that we are basically making a bullish flag here, that we are going to trade like this and then just explode to the very upside here. But at this point, the very lows at this point is the previous highs over here. So keep that in mind. And if that breaks, we have the 20 exponential moving average right on it and then the 50. But I do believe that we are going to go higher from here. So let's look at natural gas. So this is what I expected to happen. Usually when you rally or try to break out uh, of the 50 moving average or any moving average with this kind of, this amount of time and you can't do it, it breaks to the downside. And at this point, we found support at 2.75, but I think we're heading all the way down to 2.5. Uh, we are making lower lows and that means that 2.5 most likely will be the bottom of this market. 
because this is going to be massive support. We also have the 200 moving average moving at this point. So it will probably take some time. We have to take out these lows here at 2.63 and then we can head down towards 2.2. And if we find a bottom there and this starts to show uh, signs of, of, uh, of support, then it's possible to basically enter this market again for a buy. Because we're entering the cold season in the, in, um, in the United States and there's just going to be more demand if there is going to be a colder winter. That depends. But these technical indicators are all looking dreadful. The people that are starting to buy here, that is not a very good idea. It's not a good idea to buy here. It's probably a good idea to buy it here. Because if this starts to fall, it can drop really quickly all the way down to the 200 moving average. So just keep that in mind. So well, let's look at gold. So gold has tried to rally, but I am still very skeptical skeptical of this rally. It may well be that this is the bottom. So it may well be this was the very bottom. But still, we have the 20 exponential moving average here. We can see that it has proven to be quite resistant in the past. We have basically been trading at it all the time, also the 50. So there are barriers uh, uh, above here we could also see a rally up towards the, the 20 exponential tomorrow or on friday and then break down again all the way down to 1750 and 1700 that is also possible we are still here in a downtrend this has not changed we have seen this move several several times before we just go lower and lower and lower so until we break the 50 or the 20 the 50 and start trading above there um safely this is just a massive risk to take so just keep that in mind so hope you find this helpful you're welcome to support our channel by subscribing hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos and you're welcome to join us over at patreon the link is down below good luck and thank you very much